Hey everyone, in this video we'll learn how to set up your environment for developing Concordium smart contracts. Let's get started. The tools you're going to need are the Rust compiler and toolchain, Cargo Concordium, a tool for building and testing smart contracts, and Concordium Client, a command line tool for interacting with Concordium nodes, including sending transactions. To install the Rust compiler, we'll use the recommended tool Rustup. On Mac and Linux, you can copy the command shown here and run it in the terminal. The command will ask you a few questions, but you can just choose the default options. On Windows, you have to download and run the Rustup init executable. After the installation, you'll have three tools. Rust-C, which is the Rust compiler. Rust-Up, which is a tool for updating your Rust tools, including the Rust compiler. And Cargo, which is the package manager for Rust. Cargo is the one you'll use most frequently. By running Cargo Help, we can get an overview of its capabilities. The on-chain language for Concordium smart contracts is WebAssembly, or WASM for short. We therefore also need to install the WASM target for the Rust compiler, so we can compile our Rust contracts to WASM. To do this, run Rustup target at WASM unknown unknown. Next, we'll install Cargo Concordium with Cargo install locked Cargo Concordium. By running Cargo Concordium help, we can see the subcommands available. The last tool to install is Concordium client. You could download the tool from our developer documentation at this URL. The installation process differs slightly between Linux, macOS, and Windows. On Linux, you need to make the file executable and then run it from where you downloaded it or move it to a location on path, for example, user local bin. You can do that with the following commands. Note that the version and location of Concordium client may differ for you. Here we're using the 610 release and we are removing the version when moving it. On macOS, Concordium Client comes with a simple installer that essentially does the same steps as I just showed on Linux. On Windows, you can run the executable directly or move it to a location on path. With Concordium Client installed, we can use the block show command to query information about the newest block via the public testnet node. On Windows, you have to append .exe to Concordium Client when running the command. And now you are ready to start developing Concordium smart contracts. Stay tuned for more Concordium developer content.